Our professional this week is Naledi Macheru. Naledi is a young lady from South Africa who is a qualified mining engineer. Naledi started her career with Anglo-American in Rustenburg and is currently working for the organization in Australia. Naledi talks us through her journey and also encourages young people to keep the hope and reach for their dreams. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on our amazing series. Remember to share with your friends as this could be helpful to them as well. Hello everyone, Dumelang. My name is Naledi Macheru and I'm 28 years old. I will be sharing with you my career journey and I hope you will be inspired. I was raised by a single mother in a small village called Hamamaila, just outside Zanin in Limpopo. I currently live and work abroad in Australia. I work for a mining company called Anglo American as a mining engineer. I have been working as a mining engineer for the past five years. Now, you might be wondering, how did I know that I wanted to be a mining engineer? The truth is, I was always confused in high school about what I wanted to be when I finished school. I wanted to be a doctor. Sometimes I wanted to be an actress. I would also change and want to be an engineer. But I could never come up with a single answer. And this is where I went to my teacher for clarity. My teacher helped me identify my weaknesses, my strength, and my interest. From there on, I was able to identify that I really loved engineering. But even so, there's so many different types of engineering. I learned that there was mining engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and aeronautical engineering. My, my, my. Which one do I choose? I was so confused. I then did a bit of research to learn about the different types of engineering. What attracted me to mining the most was the fact that mining engineers, they find different ways to extract different minerals such as gold, copper, coal, nickel, and other many minerals from underground. They enjoyed their work outside, working in nature, and working with different rocks. That's when I decided I wanted to be a mining engineer. The subjects that I did at school includes geography, life sciences, physical sciences, and pure maths. These are the subjects that helped me to be accepted at Vets University for a mining engineering degree. But the two subjects that they wanted the most was maths and science. I chose to study mining engineering at the University of Witwatersrand in Johannesburg because Vets University is regarded as the best university in South Africa and in Africa as a whole. It took me about four years to finish my degree, which is the normal time. It was very tough for me when I started at university because I had never used a computer in my life and I have never done drawing as a subject. But because I was very passionate about mining and I was very much determined to pass, I did my best. I had an Espas Bazari to pay for my fees and I also managed to get myself a mining bursary. Mining engineering is a tough career, but it's also a rewarding career. Most people think women cannot work in mining. That is absolutely incorrect. Women can do the same jobs that men do. As a female mining engineer, my work is to go underground and supervise people who are working to extract minerals from underground using machines. My job is to show them how the work is done and where they should be working. So I basically plan the work and I supervise the work to ensure that everybody works safely and they do it in a cost-effective manner. 
My other jobs include drawing. I design the tunnels that the people are going to dig underground to be able to take out the minerals. There are different career fields within mining that a mining engineer can take on. This includes being a ventilation officer. So basically, you are involved for ensuring that there is enough air underground for people to be able to breathe and do their jobs safely. The second one is being a geotechnical engineer which is responsible for making sure that the roof is supported adequately so that it does not fall on the people or the machines that are underground. The third one, you can be a geologist. A geologist studies the rock where the coal is embedded. Their job is to understand the structures that are around the coal so that they can advise the mining engineers on how to best extract the coal. The fourth one is being a mine planner. A mine planner designs the tunnel that people are going to dig to get to the coal. The fifth one, you can be a mining supervisor or a general manager. In those roles, your job is to supervise people and manage people. There are many ways to take out the coal from underground. You can use explosives, which is the old way, or you can use machines. We use machines such as continuous miners and long wall mining. In some mines, which is surface mines, they use machines such as excavators, shovels, and trucks. As a mining engineer, I really enjoy my work because the salary enables me to take care of my brother, my sister, and my mother. Mining engineers are one of the highest paid engineers in the world. Your salary can be between 20,000 Rand as you start as a graduate. In countries such as Australia, you get paid up to 150,000 Rand. Also, you get nice packs such as housing allowance, car allowance, phone allowance, and high bonuses. As you advance in your career, your salary also increases, and this can be as high as 250,000 rand. I love everything about my job. The one thing that I don't like is that it's very demanding. You work long hours, it's very challenging, it's very hot sometimes underground, you have to wear boots, helmets, and you have to carry rescue pack which is very heavy on your waist. A career in mining can lead you anywhere. You can work in banking as an investment banker, you can work in consulting as a consultant, you can work in the government, such as the Department of Mineral Affairs. You can work at the mines as well and be a general manager. You can work in the offices and be a vice president or the CEO of the company. If you are considering a career in mining, remember, mining is very challenging, but it's also rewarding. If you enjoy working outside, if you enjoy learning about rocks, if you love blasting and breaking rocks, then you will definitely enjoy mining. Mining is not only for men. Women can be CEO of mining companies as well. Therefore, go out for your dreams and don't lose hope. Thank you so much. Goodbye.